Hey y'all! Your girl's back. I know I've been gone for like forever. But I am so connected to Mondays and Tuesdays in reality TV world. And it's just like, okay, I was on Monica on BET. Monica, the show, was just like, I love Monica. She's so positive all the time. And BET had another one of my favorites, Tiny and Toy. I'm waiting on season two. So right now, I've really been looking at VH1. Of course, I know all of you watch Fantasia for real. And me, myself, I've never really, you know, like, ooh, Fantasia, like, please. So just seeing, you know, some of the things she has to go through with her family and how having money and just being in the industry just causes so much stress by itself. Um, I just... I give her the kudos because I don't see how she do it with Teeny, her brother. Because, baby, when I tell you, his things would have been packed and out on the streets a long time ago. Oh, he just, he just really needs to grow up. Like, how old are you? Like, look at all this stuff your sister has done for you. You got a Chrysler. You don't even have to work. And you still don't want to act right. So, I mean, I don't blame her. Like, I would have made him leave a long time ago. Um, her brother Rico, the cute one, the swole one, he's cute, and you know, I understand his whole thing with her when they were getting ready to do the idol, you know, they made a pact that if she won, he would be her backup singer, and that if he won, she would be his backup singer. So, I kind of understand why he has gotten to the point where he's like, okay, I kind of want to do my own thing. Like, I see you talking to Steve Harvey and you talking to Quincy Jones. I want to be the one in the spotlight. Which I can understand because they both tried out, you know, for the idol together. Like, that was his ultimate goal was to be the winner. Just so happened his sister got it. And, you know, he's blessed. He's doing his, he's still singing, doing his thing. But, yeah, it's time to step out on faith and do your own thing. Um... The next show, uh, let's talk about Pep. Whew, you guys know Pep from Salt and Pepper. And it, the show's based in, in New York. And it's like every, what, they, they go to a weekly brunch. And it's just so cute. And the people on the show, of course, Pep. You have Kitty. And she's considered, like, I don't know, the wild party girl. To me, where I'm from, we just call her loose. Um, you have my girl, Jackie Reed. You guys know her from BET News. She's a um, TV personality. And you have Jason Kidd's ex-wife. I mean, what's her name? I'm sorry, I gotta look at my notes. J Jemana? I don't even know her name. Like, why is she even on the show? A waste of space. Just trying to get a little publicity. Because you ain't got Jason and his coins anymore. Um, I pretty much like the show. It's Whoever edits the show is amazing because it leaves you in suspense. Like, oh my God, did Pep lose the um, four-year virginity spree? Like, so I really like that show. I'm really excited. I can't wait for Tiny and Toya season two, even though a lot of you guys don't like it. I don't know why. Because to me, you know, it showed that they were very bold. They were tired of the rumor mills, as Toya would say. And they just came up and said, you know, this us. Yeah, we the baby mamas. And we happy with it. We're doing something with ourselves. And, hell, yeah, y'all, can, yeah, come come follow me with your cameras. Come see what I'm doing. Shopping at the Louis store. So, I really like that show. Um, if America's World is all over the place. If you've been listening, I'm playing the mix from DJ of America right now. And I'm starting to get a lot of more followers on YouTube and Twitter. So I want to thank all my new followers and subscribers and friends and everything. Um, I told you guys I was going to be giving you more lengthy videos and checking in with you more often. So I really appreciate all the love. I'm going to be back next week on Wednesday giving you another review of Let's Talk About Pep and Fantasia For Real. And thoughts on other shows that I, you know, tune into. So you guys keep it locked and thanks for rocking with America. Later.
of y'all ain't tell me my hair was sticking up like this. This is just some tomfoolery right here, but I'm still cute. Thanks, bitches. Ow.